A mother from Atlanta, Georgia, told the local news, the principal at my daughter's school reached out to me on Tuesday and asked me could I come pick my daughter up, saying that she had been physically assaulted. Immediately when I looked at my daughter back, I could see it was red. And I asked my daughter, what happened to you? And she said, my teacher hit me in my back as I was walking out the classroom. After I asked her for a laptop charger, the mother went on to say, it's nowhere you could go and assault kids and don't go to jail. If I abuse my daughter, I'd be in jail right now. So why is she any different? She should never be able to work in the school system again. The employee who hit the girl has not been publicly identified, but she have been put on administrative leave pending an investigation. Listen, y'all gonna have to stop putting y'all hands on these people's children. Every parent is not gonna go for that. The little girl asked you for a charger. She didn't get the charger. She walked out of class. If you felt like that was disrespectful, then you should have reached out to the principal and just went about it that way. But you don't just put your hands on nobody, child. You can't just slap them in their back because you mad at them. These children have mothers and fathers. If my child is at school acting up, it ain't on you to put your hands on them to put them back in line. That's when you reach out to me. There is a protocol for everything. And like she said, there's nowhere you could go where you could abuse children and nothing happen. If I put my hands on my own child, I could go to jail. And here it is. You could put your hands on them and don't nothing happen. And why y'all can't identify her? Y'all identify people for doing everything else. Who is this chick? Who she know? See, this is one of the biggest issues that I have with the quote unquote system. The system want to tell the parent how to deal with their child. But when that same child get out of line with the quote unquote system, they deal with them however they see fit. You're going to tell me that I can't even raise my voice at my child. But yet, if my child out there in the streets acting like a little jerk, the police could raise their voice at them and curse them out. You're going to tell me that I can't put my hands on my child. Yet, when my child get in trouble and go to somebody's jailhouse, the security guards beating their brains out. It's like the system is setting these children up for failure. All of this out of hand stuff that we seeing these children do at school, all of that is done by design. Because if you stop the parents from disciplining the children, of course the children going to be disruptive once they leave out the house. Everybody need guidance. Everybody needs structure. And again, to these teachers, there are some parents that's not going to go for that. You going to slap their children in their back and their parents going to catch you when you clock out and slap you in your face.